in this video we will see how to use the coincident mate in SOLIDWORKS so first select file click on new then select this assembly option and then click OK so this window will automatically appear you have to select any part file I am selecting this one and then click on open place it here at the center and then change the background to plain white this is optional by the way now uh, drop down this menu and select this view origins options and here you can see the two origins have been appeared one is for assembly and one is for the part so how we can go inside uh, both of these first right click here and click on float make sure to do this else uh, we would not be able to assign any mate so click on this mate option and then under the category of the standard mate we have this coincident mate select this coincident mate and in this mate selection just select this midpoint of the part and this midpoint of the assembly and here you can see the coincident mate has been applied just check this box what is the benefit of this let's see here if you can see the front plane it is right in the middle top plane is also there and right plane is also at the mid so that's how we use the coincident mid